Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneManet.com and in this video I want to answer the question when should I end my split test? And to cut all the BS, to cut it short, I'm gonna tell you, you should end your split test whenever your results are statistically significant. So a lot of people ask me when should you uh, end a split test, after how many clicks, after how many weeks, that all depends, okay? So as long as your results are statistically significant, I will give you a resource, a free resource you can use to check that, then you can end your test, regardless of what the time period is, regardless of how many clicks you got. But you can't wait a week, you know, sit at your computer, oh, it's been a week, time to end the test. You can't do that, you have to wait until it is statistically significant and you have to keep it running forever and ever until it is, okay? You can't stop it regardless of how many clicks or uh, time has passed. For example, I have this campaign here, Piano for All, with all this data. Um, so it got, you know, it got 67 clicks here, it got 5,000 impressions, right? Unfortunately, there's no sales data because Bing Ads doesn't integrate with ClickBank. Uh, but you see the data here, and then if you go to uh, another campaign of mine, you know, Diabetes Treatment, this was a test campaign. In about the same time period, we only got 10 clicks, okay? So as you can see, there's a huge gap. If you get one click a week and I get 1,000 clicks a week, well, I have way more data than you to play around with and determine if the results are significant. But if you have one click, probably not significant enough, keep going. So it's hard for me to tell you when you ask me when you should end your split test to end it in a week because I have no idea how much traffic you're getting, okay? Then you might say, okay, well, fine. Let's not talk about time. Let's talk about clicks. Let's say after 100 clicks or after 500 clicks, can I then determine which one is uh, the winner and, and you know pause the split test? The answer to that is still no. So even if you're getting 500 clicks or 1,000 clicks or 10,000 clicks, unless your results are statistically significant, you cannot um, end the test. Now, what is statistical significance? It is uh, basically, in statistics, what it means is that the test is um, confident that the results aren't attributed to chance. So if a uh, result, if a split test result is statistically significant, that means that there is less than a 5% chance that the results were attributed to pure chance. That means you're 95% sure that the results were attributed to proper split testing and proper controls and proper all that. So we would be using this tool here called you know, Neil's, uh, Neil Patel's Statistical Significance Calculator. You're gonna go down here and you can punch in the numbers. Now what I wanna show you is that regardless of the visitors you get, your statistical significance uh, results might still not be 95%, which is when you wanna end the test. That's when a test is statistically significant. So if, for example, here we have 1,000 page visitors and we have 90 conversions on one of them and 100 conversions on the other, you cannot say that split test B is the winner. You know, here Neil is saying he's only 78% certain that B is the winner. So unfortunately, results are not significant. Now you're saying, okay, well, let's say we have 2,000 clicks, right? We have way more data. We have 2,000 clicks, it's the same damn thing, okay? It doesn't matter. Because if you have data that's this close to each other, you know, 90 versus 100, it's so close to each other that it's likely attributed due to chance. So what you do wanna look at is the statistical significance. So if we add here, let's say 130, now we know for a fact that, you know, there's such a huge gap in conversions that we know that page B has outperformed page A. So always use this tool. So you're asking me when should you end your split test? When your results are statistically significant, use this tool, go in here, and let's say over here, right, let's use Piano for All, let's say we're comparing ad A versus ad B, okay? So we have 19 visits. So don't get confused, right? It's not impressions. This first part here is number of visitors. So we don't have a lot of visitors, so we have 19 visitors in page A and 19 visitors in page B. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna enter 19, we're gonna enter 19. Now this doesn't make sense, let me delete that. So we can enter conversion numbers. So let's say you made one conversion. Well, you know, you're 85% certain that uh, variation A outperformed variation B, or let's say you have two. It's still not, not enough data, right? Let's say you have three, now there's enough data to say that variation A has performed variation B. Now in this case, there is really, there's not enough data, right? 19 clicks is really not enough. I would probably go with a little more clicks. In this case, it's just common sense because if you get one conversion in the next minute, 
you know, all of a sudden your results aren't statistically significant anymore. So there is no hard number as to when you should end a split test. But A, I would end it when your results are statistically significant. And B, I would give it maybe 50 to 100 clicks at least before you um, determine and put plug the numbers in. Okay, so I'm not saying 50 to 100 clicks and then end the test. I'm saying 50 to 100 clicks and then go in and try to determine if your uh, split test was statistically significant. If it is, then you go back into your account and you pause the losing ad, okay? And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this video and it answered your question. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna, you, you know, if it's a video that's worth demonstrating, I will make a video replying to the question and demonstrating it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.